The issue with Modern Warfare 1 was that the slide mechanism was meant to slide, transition to ADS like it is in Modern Warfare 2. However, somebody found a way to break it. If you guys don't know, Call of Duty was built on Quake's Arena Engine, and that is where this game stems from. This game is really good. People just can't let go of the slide canceling and the stim and the bunny hop jumping and all the exploits tells me uh, that this community is having a hard time with just moving on. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, Acrylics one and only. Thank you so much for stopping in. Appreciate you guys being here. Got a video that is discussing something that I've been wanting to talk about for the past couple of weeks, but first be sure to follow me over on Facebook Gaming and Twitch for the live streams at Acrylics number one and only, as well as TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, you can check me out over on Spotify right now. It's still my old name, Joseph Corey. I don't know if I'm gonna change that, but that is my real name and it is my music name. I release new music. Every so often, I try to stay pretty busy with that as well. But let's get right into the video at hand, which is what everybody has talked about since Modern Warfare 2 has come out. I have not made a video on it yet, but I'm doing so now because I really wanted to explain some reasons as to why this is going on. And it is the slide canceling and the movement. A lot of people don't understand why the slide canceling was nerfed out of the game and pretty much all but removed. Same thing with the beta. It wasn't there and people figured out how a way to glitch it or cheese it to make it happen again. In order to understand this, we have to look at the Call of Duty franchise over the past 15 years. And for the most part, every single Call of Duty game had different gameplay. We look back at Black Ops 1 and 2, they were similar, but they had minor differences in movement, graphics, and gameplay. Same thing goes with the Modern Warfares, but where this trend really did pick up was with Advanced Warfare because the boost jumping and the cyber suits uh, allowing you to jump higher and move quicker. Then we had Black Ops 3, which had the jetpacks, which was completely different than Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3 was a little bit slower, but you could wall run, you could run along the side of the walls, and I found that to be quite annoying. Then they had Infinite Warfare, which was a little bit more tame, but in its own way was in between the Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. And I didn't like that game, really. I didn't like any of them. Then Black Ops 4 comes out, and guess what? It's completely different. Even though there's no boost jumping or wall running, and it's a lot more down-to-earth and realistic movement, it's still a lot faster running and sliding than Black Ops 1 or 2. So again, completely different gameplay. Then we fast forward to Modern Warfare 2019, and the game pretty much plays like real life almost, or at least we thought at that time because it was slower than Black Ops 4 or any of the previous installments of like the last five years. It was very slow and very realistic and it got a lot of praise and Modern Warfare did very well. The issue with Modern Warfare 1 was that the slide mechanism was meant to slide, transition to ADS like it is in Modern Warfare 2. However, somebody found a way to break it where you could slide, press two buttons, and then cancel the slide and keep doing it to reset your tactical sprint. And that basically was, you tap your slide button, you wait about a second, tap slide, and then jump and you cancel. And that slide canceling then transitioned into stimming because the stim would give you a boost. They added that into the game after year one, but then people were abusing that and they were using it with the slide. So they were sliding across rooms and bouncing around. And Infinity Ward, didn't patch this. In fact, they started making Modern Warfare 2 around the release of Cold War. So they had themselves two years to build Modern Warfare 2. And Raven took over. And Raven never patched it either. Although they did patch the stim, they left the slide canceling in. A lot of people speculated that the slide canceling would stay in all the Modern Warfares because they use the same engine. That is not correct. The engine in Modern Warfare 2, although is very similar to the Modern Warfare 1 engine, it is now using an updated IW9 engine, which is the Infinity Ward 9 engine. This one here is actually using a slightly different engine than Modern Warfare 19. It's modified. And a little FYI, if you guys don't know, the Modern Warfare series is still using the original engine. 
is just a modified and more modified version. If you guys don't know, Call of Duty was built on Quake's Arena engine, and that is where this game stems from. Now, talking about the slide canceling, why didn't Raven nerf the slide canceling? Why didn't it get taken out? Because every Call of Duty game is its own era. Every single Call of Duty game has its own era, its own gameplay, which makes it unique. Even though it's the same series, they're changing the gameplay. Look at it like Final Fantasy. Every time we get a new Final Fantasy game, the gameplay changes. It's the same thing with pretty much every game, every RPG game you can think of, even MMOs. They change the gameplay a little bit. They tweak it, they enhance it. Call of Duty goes a step further and they change the gameplay of every COD game they release. Now look at Black Ops Cold War. It didn't play like Modern Warfare or Warzone and it did not play like Black Ops 4. It was its own game. And in my opinion, up until Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops Cold War was the best Call of Duty ever made, in my opinion, in a lot of ways. Modern Warfare was kind of neck and neck in its own way. They were both great. Then look at Vanguard. You get to Vanguard, it plays similar to Cold War, but it was different. They changed the mechanisms of the sliding and the jumping and the speed in which you run and the damage system. Everything gets changed. They are completely different games. If you really look at all the minute differences, they're not the same. Breaking apart the movement system and being able to bunny hop, jump around corners and slide back and forth, it was crazy. But the thing is, as much as they liked that, and they left it in because believe me, they did. It was an era. They realized this was the movement era. People had found a way to make creative and crazy movement with Call of Duty. And they accepted that. And it was great. And I loved it. It got frustrating at times. Even players that were really good shooters were getting annihilated because they couldn't move and shoot. However, when they released Modern Warfare 2, and, and I'm sure during the planning of this game too, they realized, hey, you know what? It was great while it lasted, but Modern Warfare 2 is a new game and it's going to pioneer the same thing that Call of Duty's values have always done and that is this is going to be slightly or even moderately different with a new engine, new updates, a new feel. Every game has to feel fresh. We can't have bunny jumping, stimming, and sliding all over the place in Modern Warfare 2 because it needs to be a different game. It's time to move on. And that is the issue. So they nerfed it out. They took the slide canceling out, or they thought they did. In the beta, we, including myself, exploited it. And there was indeed slide canceling that I arguably say was even better than Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone 1. However, by the time the game came out, it was completely removed again. And now there's no way to fix it. So now Modern Warfare 2 is completely different than every COD game ever released. Although I do say that it feels like Modern Warfare 2 or 3 or even Ghosts in a way, but a lot more realistic. This game in its own right is now considered the realistic era. So Call of Duty has three eras from 2007 until 2013 was the beginning era because Call of Duty 4 was actually Modern Warfare, which found huge success considering it was the first of its kind. But not only that, you had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which did even better. Then you had Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Ghosts, all part of what I call the beginning era of Call of Duty. Then you had the online and futuristic era of Call of Duty, which was Call of Duty Online, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, and that was your futuristic era of Call of Duty. The third era of Call of Duty was your realistic era, which was in 2017 with World War II, 2018 with Black Ops 4, and 2019 with Modern Warfare, which also transitioned over to Warzone. However, midway through this era in 2020, it became the movement era as more and more people started slide canceling. But slide canceling was already part of Modern Warfare only a few months after its release. However, after about a year, the stim trick, the bunny hop jumping, crazy sliding and swirling all over the place got out of hand and it became the movement era really quick and was no longer really noted as being the realistic era then after that in 2020 you had black ops cold war in 2021 you had vanguard which continued with the realistic era but was also part of warzone one which was also the movement era. So it became kind of a dual era movement slash realistic era, but ultimately because Warzone is king was the movement era. Here we are now in the fourth era, which is very similar to the third era, except without the movement. 
Infinity Ward and Activision seem to want to really bring the Iron Hammer down on us and make this the realistic era because Modern Warfare 2 is as realistic as it gets as far as comparing it to the previous titles. So we're kind of in a continuation of the previous era without the movement, which is why I say the previous era, it was the movement era, but now we have the realistic era and that's what we have. And that's pretty much how I've classified all the games, how I've organized it. This game is really good. Modern Warfare 2 is a gem. And the fact that people just can't let go of the slide canceling and the stim and the bunny hop jumping and all the exploits tells me uh, that this community is having a hard time with just moving on. It's time to go. It's time to move on to Modern Warfare 2. This is the reason why. They've accepted it. Infinity Ward and Activision have accepted the fact that the movement era was great but they've made it so that this era has to be different. You're gonna have to find different exploits, different movement uh, things that you can do to exploit the game, uh, different ways to get around the map, different things to do that are gonna increase your skills. They've given us a new game and they want us to figure out new ways. If Activision and Infinity Ward were angry at us for doing the slide canceling exploit and figuring all that stuff out, they would have patched it or they would have banned people and they didn't do that. They were okay with it. For one era now they want to move on to something else if you find a certain movement exploit not even really an exploit you just find a really good way to kind of take advantage of the system and the, and the engine right now to move better or do things better they'll leave that in but don't expect it to be in modern warfare 3 because it won't think about it like this look at all the call of duty games released there is not one game that is identical to another in gameplay Movement, graphics, story, guns, nothing. Even if they look similar like Vanguard and Cold War, it's still completely different. It feels different, different speeds, everything's different. They do this every game and that's just how it is. So you need to understand that and accept it because I'm being honest. Modern Warfare 2 is the best Call of Duty to date. And I think this game would be doing even better if all the crazy try-hard stim, bunny jumping, sliding wannabes would just let go of that. Just let go of it and move on to Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to do another video on why this game is so great, but in a short point, they gave us DMZ and Warzone. We're going to be getting Plunder and a smaller map, and we got Modern Warfare 2 with all those maps and all these great guns. And I'm going to be talking about the leveling up system and the whole progression system is much, much better than Modern Warfare 1. For example, you max out a gun in Modern Warfare 1, and then you move on to the next gun, you have no attachments for it. Even at level four, you have basic attachments. In this game, once you get to level three, four, five, six on a gun, you can start using level 22 attachments from other guns because of the way the progression system is. So for example, in Modern Warfare 1, if you wanted the monolithic suppressor on your assault rifle, you couldn't have used it from another assault rifle, even if you had it on an M13 and you wanted it on M4, you had to unlock it on the M4. Whereas this game, if you have the mono suppressor, unlocked once you get your assault rifle a new one that is to level four you can just use it right away the progression system's better and that's just one thing that's better about this game but that's for a different video almost like wwe you got the pg era you've got the attitude era the aggression era and then you've got the post pg era which is the new gen era of now it's the same thing everything in life has an era or a time frame there's always a life or a limitation to everything and with call of duty it's no different. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment below, subscribe, tap the bell, follow me on all social medias at Acrylics, the one and only Acrylics with a one. We'll see you guys. Thanks so much for being here. You guys are the best piece of love for you. Catch you on the next upload or live stream. I'm out of here. Deuces.